Okay, so mixed mode systems can be modeled with great effect using the virtual environment. The model I have here is a very simple model which I've created with one zone just for simplicity to allow us to look at how the software works in an integrated way. Obviously we start in the energy section and in the energy section you can see you've got Apache HVAC and Macroflow which will link into Apache SIM. Apache HVAC as we've said will allow us to model our detailed heating, ventilation and air conditioning systems and Macroflow will allow us to go in and do a bulk airflow analysis so that we can see the effect of buoyancy on the air so the air's density as it changes with temperature and also the effect of the wind and the pressure associated with that. As I look at this model I can move into Macroflow and see what I've set up. When I look in Macroflow I can see that I have a number of opening types created. I have an external window which is closed so you can see it's closed, there's no openable area and it's off continuously and I have a window opening which is 70% openable and has an opening profile and the opening profile is a formula profile. So as I've opened my profile database I can see here that we have our opening weekly profile and as I look at the daily profile associated I can see it's a formula profile which between the hours of 8 and 5 is allowing the windows to be openable when the air temperature in the room goes above 22 degrees and when the outside air temperature is greater than 16. So it's making sure that the outside air condition is favorable towards this uh, natural ventilation scenario. So as I close this AP Pro, I can then see in my Macroflow where I've assigned these two different window openings. So I can see I've got my external window closed, so you can see those central windows are closed, and then I've got top and bottom openings which are openable to the 70% like what we had looked at there in the opening types. So as I then go into Apache HVAC I can see what's put in here in terms of the system and I can look at my mixed mode ASP file, that's the file associated with Apache HVAC and I can see when I open this it has a small network, quite a simple network just to show us what's happening. In this case though we have our cooling and heating coil which is conditioning the air up to 19 degrees C it is coming on between 8 and 5 in the day and it's off of the weekends. So we only have airflow and heating between that time. We have this variable airflow varying between 300 and 50 litres per second there again, similar to what we'd set up before. But this time we are controlling on CO2. So it's the PPM, the parts per million that we're controlling on, we're putting a mid-band of 600 and a proportional bandwidth of 50, which means that once the PPM goes above 575 PPM, the airflow will start to rise until it's at its greatest flow rate when it gets to 625 PPM. And that's between the hours of 8 and 5. What you'll notice as well is that there's an AND connection in there. And what that AND connection means, it's connected over here into this outside air sensor. I've got this sensor which is sensing the outside air ductwork there and it's basically just what it's saying is it's sensing dry bulb temperature between those hours which I've already stated and it's sensing to see when the temperature is below 16 degrees C. And when that temperature is below 16 degrees C that's basically linked in here and saying once the temperature is below 16 degrees C, this airflow can come on, this mechanical ventilation can come on and can modulate up and down according to the PPM within the space, CO2 levels within the space. So as we look at the results, I've linked in the Apache HVAC module and the Macroflow module uh, just in Apache SIM. You can see Macroflow and Apache HVAC linked in there. I've run that simulation and when I go into Vista, I'm able to look at the results. We can look at air temperature in the space and we can choose a particular day. So we may choose May the 8th. And as I look at May the 8th, I can see the dry bulb temperature outside. And so once that dry bulb temperature between the hours in 8 and 5 is below 16 degrees, our mechanical ventilation system should be on. And once it goes above 16 degrees outside, then our mechanical ventilation system should be off and our natural ventilation system should be on. So as we look at it, I can choose 
Apache HVAC air supply and sure enough once it's below 16 degrees I can see my HVAC supply coming on starting out at that minimum limit which I set of 50 litres per second and then once the CO2 in the space goes up so as I choose room CO2 once the CO2 in the space goes up above the 575 limit our system starts to ramp up towards the 300 mark that we had set in terms of liters per second. Once the temperature outside goes above 16 degrees C and the air temperature inside is above 22 then our natural ventilation will come on. And so you can see that uh, macro flow external vent uh, coming on there so our macro flow is coming on in that afternoon period where the temperature in the space is above 22 and it's keeping the temperature in the space within our comfort limits. So you can see how we've utilized in this very simple example the power of your Apache HVAC unit as well as the macroflow module.